Ron Hart is a syndicated columnist seen in newspapers all over the country. He's also a fan favorite at the Huckabee Show. He's back with us tonight to share his thoughts on how 2024 is shaping up. He says if aliens were to land in America today and say, take me to your leader, well, it'd be very embarrassing for all of us. Would you please welcome back to the show one of our very favorites, Ron Hart. Ron, good to have you back. Thank you. I think that's probably right. They yeah. might just get back in the spaceship and take back off. It's scary. You got a president who only about 5% of the country would let them watch their kids as they went to the store to get cigarettes. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sad, you know. You, you can you can kind of see his, his ads in the fall. It'll be like, uh, I'm Joe Biden, and I forgot my message. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's obviously uh, running. He's made that clear. He can barely walk. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Yes, you're, you're right Touché. about that technically, yes. Um, but he does have some opposition. Robert Kennedy Jr. is uh, is getting a little traction in the Democrat Party, even though the Democrats are, they want nothing to do with him. No debate. They're not going to have any oxygen in the, in the party. I loved his uncle, uh, John F. Kennedy, the president. Yes. Wrote Profiles in Courage. Uh, and it, it took a lot of courage to take on Marilyn Monroe with a bad back. <laughs> so, to, his, to his credit, he, he, one of my heroes. I mean, you know, Pete Davidson maybe now. But, um, yeah, but so, yeah, he, he, look, they're not going to have a debate. They, the, the Democrat Party has discipline that the Republicans do not have. I mean, we, we, it's, it's, we got the libertarians, you got the religious rights, you got the fiscal conservative hawks, doves, and the Republican Party. A lot of voices. Democrats are monolithic machine, right? Head by the Clintons at some you know, point in time, exactly. Uh, Hillary's in the wings waiting for him to trip again and <laughs> fall, you know? Uh, she's, uh, you know, she's got all these nefarious things around Hillary Clinton. She's the, actually the first Methodist ever to run a crime family in America. So it's <laughs> another historic first, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I, hopefully it's some little, and this, the problem is with the Democrats, if you're a Democrat, you got no bench. Yeah. You look down the hallway, every, there's, you know, crazy on the left of me, crazy on the right of me. I mean, everything's nuts on the Democrat side. So, you know, we, we mentioned RFK Jr. He is not a conventional candidate in the sense that he's taking on a lot of the issues big government, big pharma. Uh, I got to respect him for that. We, yeah. We're hoping to get him on the show. I yeah. want to talk to him because I a, admire him for that. It's a Joe Rogan feel to him, right? Anna Vaxxer, Aaron Rodgers backed him as yeah. well. So, and then on the Republican side, who knows? DeSantis obviously is the contender. You've yeah. been through this before. You know what it's like. Uh, you know, you don't know he's a real contender, DeSantis, until the FBI raids his house. <laughs> so, so, so we don't know that quite yet. Uh, Trump goes to Iowa, does the Iowa thing. He's picking up boats left and right. He's, you know, he's, he's signed up people quicker than the FBI can take down their names. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, he's doing well. Uh, you know, uh, Mike Pence... You know, pulling around 2%, right around skim milk. <laughs> so, so. You know, Jody Ernst, uh, Josh, you know, uh, knows it, but this, um, Jody Ernst hosts, hosts this big roast in Iowa where they have the, you know, they, they uh, the roast and ride. Roast and ride, yes, it's called. Right. Yeah, exactly. And they have, you know, 1,000 pounds of Iowa beef, you know, you know, 2,000 ears of corn, you know, they have a big feast. They devour this big feast, and, and they, all the politicians come there. The only troubling thing, is the banjo player's missing. He's been missing for like a week or two after that. So it's a, it's a big Iowa festival. Uh, the Democrats are moving their, theirs out of there. Tim Scott declared, I like Tim Scott a lot. Of Good South man. Carolina. Great Good man. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific guy. Good for the party. Uh, if elected, he'll be the first bachelor in the White House since Bill Clinton. <laughs> 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 oh! oh. <laughs> too soon. Oh. Is that too soon? Oh, no, not no. too soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, you got other candidates, you know, coming along the way. I'm more libertarian. I'm a more of a Rand Paul type of uh, person. So, oh, okay. Yay. We got some Rand Paul fans out here. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, you know, the problem you have, as you know, everyone knows, is conventional wisdom, a crowded field. Trump wins. Yeah. He's got a solid 30, 35% of the vote. And uh, so, you know, if he gets to the, to the, you know, general, I'll vote for him, you know, but I prefer someone else. I think it's time for fresh leadership. I mean, he's almost 80. Biden will be, I don't know what Biden is, 81 or two or three. Yeah, they're they're going to hold yeah. the next debate in the Muffet Theater in the balcony. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Get off my lawn. You know, that's, that's kind of what we're up against. I think we can do better as a country with candidates, you know. You should run again. Tucker Carlson, I'd love to see him run. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Tucker, I, I'll clear the field, let him have it. This boy ain't running again. You done? No, you know, you can only mortgage your house so many times to go out there <laughs> and run. Right. And then your wife threatens you with a hole right through here that's yeah. a nine millimeter, and you just say, it ain't worth it. A lot more yeah. money in politics than when you did it. No? No. Not really? Not really. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's... you can't. You can't take a paycheck. Right. And so, you know, unless you're independently wealthy when you run, it's a huge sacrifice. People don't understand that. And you open your family up to oh my gosh, everything. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, yeah. it's, it's a tough one. It's... Uh, it's, it's gotten so ugly, unfortunately. I hope DeSantis and Trump don't just beat each other up. I, I just don't see how that's yeah. going to work. It's not good. Trump will, you know, he's the only viable candidate, uh, DeSantis is. And, you know, Trump views him as a viable candidate. You know that because he's given him a nickname. <laughs> he's the only one he's given a nickname <laughs> to. So it's like the eighth grade. You're running for eighth grade president. We, we, we can do better, I think. So the Republicans need to feel someone who can do better. I like DeSantis. I think he has all the policies of Trump without the personality. And he's done a great job in Florida, as you well know. Yeah. yeah. He has done a great job there. You know, one of the things that I, I do think is that if Trump is pushed out because people say, oh, gee, we don't like his personality because all these clouds are hanging over him, I think my concern, we will bring that upon every candidate we ever have. Right. And the new strategy will be, Hey, we don't have to beat him at the ballot box. We're just going to beat the stuffing out of him through the FBI and right. all the intelligence agencies and the press, and we'll make that person, if we can't take him down, we'll make him wish he was. Yeah. I, mean, I worry about it. It scares that. good people from coming into politics. It does. Because, uh, you know, Washington, D.C. voted 90% for Democrats, Biden, yeah. Hillary, whatever. So the FBI has become a, a weaponized arm of the Democrat Party. And it scares people because no one wants to go before the FBI. I don't care how clean and clean as you are, yeah. you don't want to go before the FBI. So it's become, uh, they, they did decentralize the FBI, move it to the regions, de decentralize DC. Now, the yeah. FBI, great people, great officers, but it's been politicized and co opted. And to the detriment of every case they bring now, because everybody doubts them now. I mean, no, no one's, you know, no one believes the FBI now after what's happened. So this Hunter Biden thing, they're selling their, 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 their hands on that for a long, long time. Uh, when you bring charges on that, I mean, how corrupt do you have to be? Will they ever, you think, bring charges against... Uh, they're still mad at Hunter the Biden. Biden. They're going to indict uh, uh, Jared, Trump, Jared uh, Kushner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean that, that's how they operate, unfortunately. I think the American people hopefully see it. You've illuminated it here. And other yeah. people see it. I think it's frightening. When the government, the, big, the, blue, the uh, deep state turns against you, it's scary for the, the average Americans. And Trump is just, uh, uh, his personality aside, he is a proxy for the anger in America. Yeah. No, there's no doubt about that. And I think he's spoken for a lot of people who feel like nobody has been willing to take on the, the deep state at the level that he has. And I do think that's uh, been his strength all along. Yes, right. Ron, we always love having you. Please promise that you will come back regularly. Anytime. I love it. We look forward to it the next time. For our audience, you can read all of Ron's columns at the Daily Caller. I read them every single week, wouldn't miss them. And you can also read them in newspapers nationwide. But we've got the links so that you can follow all of those columns. Plus, you can follow Ron on social media at Huckabee.tv. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.